If you are an anime fan in 2018, chances are you use some form of anime streaming service. Currently, you have a lot of choices with Crunchyroll, Funimation, Hulu, Netflix, and even Amazon Prime. With all these different choices comes a lot of bullshit we all have to deal with. First up, we have Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll has by far the biggest catalog, but is almost exclusively subs. Which is good, but if that's not your thing, then so be it. However, Ubisoft must be in charge, because half their console and other apps just don't work. The whole site goes down every Saturday night during Dragon Ball Super, and the website still uses Flash Player. You also have Funimation, which is basically Crunchyroll, but mostly dubbed shows. I've never used this program, so I can't comment on its performance. Next, you have Hulu, which has a good amount of anime and a bunch of other shows that don't matter. The problem here is that it's expensive as hell, with the cheapest version being more expensive than any other service. And that version has a ton of ads. Finally, we have Netflix. Netflix is weird with its anime. It has by far the least amount of content, but it has a good load of Netflix exclusives with just a few other random shows mixed in. Price shouldn't be an issue because I'm pretty sure everyone in the US is using the same shared Netflix account at this point. So if you don't have Hulu already, chances are you're probably going to go with Crunchyroll or Funimation. So you've signed up and you're watching your favorite shows when you decide that you want to watch Death Note. Oh, I'm sorry, that's only available on Hulu or Netflix. So you go and get your grandma's Netflix account and start to watch Death Note. You finish that and decide you want to watch Clan Ad. But oh, I'm sorry, that's only available on Hulu. So you go and make your Hulu free trial and you finish Clan Ad and the after story and now you've heard of this show from last year that everyone is raving about called Made in Abyss. You want to watch it, right? Well, sorry fucker, you gotta pay a hundred bucks for Amazon Prime to watch that. This is just the drama you have to go through with full shows that are on different platforms. There are tons of shows that are split up and getting gang banged across all the different services. Take the Dragon Ball series, for example. Hulu has the original Dragon Ball, so you start from there, but when you're done, you look to go on and Hulu doesn't have Dragon Ball Z. All it has is the original Dragon Ball and shitty ass Dragon Ball GT. You look to Crunchyroll and all it has is Dragon Ball Super. So your only other option is to acquire another monthly service and subscribe to Funimation to watch Dragon Ball Z. Then you take a show like Hajime no Ippo. This show is only available on Crunchyroll. Oh yeah, and they only have the third season. All the other seasons are just lost in the void somewhere. Okay, I need to calm down after this, so I'm gonna watch some Mushishi. And good, I have plenty of options to choose from. Wait, where's the first season? What is this? Okay, I'll try Netflix. Nope, they don't have the first season either. Does Hulu have it? Okay, good, they do. Looks like I'm paying for a subscription seeing as my free month has run out. Hi, Phil Swift here for Flex Tape. The super strong waterproof tape. I pay for this shit. That can instantly patch, bond, seal, and repair. Fine, I'll just buy the first season digitally. How much could it cost? Your heart in a being a pirate is our to be. Do what you want, cause a pirate is free. You are a pirate. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this at all, I would appreciate it if you subscribed because I will be making plenty more anime related content in the future.